Hey what's going on guys my name is Blaine and welcome back to the Blue Collar Geek. In today's video I'm going to give you a real quick tour of my desk. Uh, I've seen a couple other YouTubers do this type of video so just thought that I would go ahead and do my own version of it. Now I will point out that I did not show you guys what's in the drawers on my desk but if you would like to see what's inside those go ahead and leave me a comment down below and I will surely do that in the next one. So without further ado let's go ahead and get to the video. Alright guys, so let's go ahead and get started with the desk tour. Moving from left to right, we have the blue snowball microphone. This is of course the black model and you can pick this up for like $99 off of Amazon, maybe even cheaper than that. It's a really great mic, really great for vocals or voiceovers. It does pretty good with the acoustic guitar, but not really great to be honest with you. Um, moving on, we have the Mackie MR5 studio monitors. These are great monitors. They're about $150 a piece, I think, if I can remember correctly. Uh, but great speakers if you like listening to music. The way it was produced in the studio, these are definitely great studio monitors and desktop speakers. They don't take up a lot of space, but they are pretty bulky. So if you don't have a lot of desktop space, these might not be for you. Um, but of course, on top there, we have the Canon T2i lens cap which is of course the the camera that I'm using to record this video right now. Alright, down here we have the Bose headphones and of course I'm gonna forget the model number but I'll throw it up here on the screen. These are the newest Bose closed back headphones. These aren't the noise canceling headphones but these are awesome headphones. I actually had the the older model of these headphones and to be honest they I think the older model had a little bit better sound than these have sound quality wise I think the bass was a little bit richer but these are awesome headphones and the design on these I really like they are a lot more flexible than the older model and just overall I think they're better than the older model so Bose definitely did a good job with those moving on we have a Griffin iPod touch case up on top of the hard drive there and that is a Western Digital 500 gig hard drive. I use that for all my video file storage. I just throw it over on there. Of course, down below we have the Phantom Green. That's a that's also a external hard drive. That is a two terabyte hard drive, and I use that for my Time Machine backup off my Mac. <clears throat> Excuse me. And of course, on top we have the Visine eye drops, which I use all the time because my eyes stay dry. That's crazy but and there we have the USB plugs coming off the hard drives which I, I don't have either one of those hard drives connected right now because I actually have my iPod touch and the blue microphone connected right now so we'll go ahead and move on to the iPod touch and I'll focus that in for you guys real quick so there's my iPod touch and that is the 8 gigabyte it's the third generation iPod touch I think it's the third generation it might be the second I actually traded an old acoustic guitar for that iPod and it was in great condition and has worked well for me ever since although I will say the battery life has diminished greatly so probably gonna have to upgrade the battery or just upgrade the iPod altogether very shortly and of course it's sitting on a little dock there which I don't know if you can see because of my uh, white balance here but yeah it's sitting on a little dock that I bought off of eBay for like 20 bucks and it's been great it works really well and looks really nice it's really it's really small so that's what I like about it so moving on we of course have the MacBook Pro this is the late 2009 model I think it's the two, yeah late 2009 model MacBook Pro it has 8 gigabytes of RAM it has a 750 gig hard drive which I just installed uh, recently and it is an awesome computer it's the 13 inch model I love it it's my baby and I would would not know what to do without it and up underneath you can see I have a stand there that is not the stand that you guys are probably thinking it is I actually made that stand myself and I'll give you guys a little bit better view of it now so like I was saying, I actually made this stand here. It's just an aluminum and I made it at work, got it cut out on a laser machine and just put a pretty rough bend here on the back. You can see it's not perfect. I want to get it all anodized and cleaned up real nice, but just haven't had the 
the time to but it works pretty well. I'll put me some little pads here on top so I don't scratch my laptop or I put a pad on the bottom also so I don't scratch my desk. You can see there. But it works and it's actually pretty much the replica of the one that sold online for like a hundred bucks or something. So it works and yeah, that's about it. So moving on to the other side of the desk, we just have a nice little pen holder there and got a little flashlight in there. We of course have the other Mackie MR5 over here and a iPod Nano. I think that's a second generation, maybe a third generation. And that's the four gigabyte version. I usually keep that in my truck for all my music play it on my truck. I have a iPod jack on my stereo on my truck, so I use that in there. Yeah, so and then we have of course the flip ultra HD camera there with the little mini tripod so yeah I just keep that setting right there and that way I can just grab it and record if I ever need to alright guys so that is the tour of my desk I hope you enjoyed if you liked the video go ahead and hit the thumbs up leave me a comment below telling me what you thought of it I will see all of you guys soon if you haven't already done so go ahead and subscribe also and I will see you guys soon take care